I'd like to show you how to write a report such as this in Excel using just Excel and SAP Business One. So this is all SAP Business One data. It's live, it's current, and it's being pulled from the SAP database using just SAP Business One client and Excel. Let's start in SAP. I have a view or I have a, a query already written here. This query is looking at sales invoices and credit notes for the current year from the beginning of January. I'm going to use this as the basis of writing a view. So to create a view in SAP, I just write in create view. Give the view a name as. I'm just going to make one other change. Uh, rather than just looking at the current financial year, I'd like to bring in the previous two financial years as well. So we're simply saying where the year on the document date is greater than or equal to the year of today minus two years. So if we click the execute button, we get an operation completed successfully. We no longer have data here because this wasn't a query to create information. It was simply a query to create a view. So we've called our view 001TEO. We'll go back to Microsoft Excel. Let's open a new sheet within our workbook. We need to make a note of the SAP um, server. So if we go to SAP and choose company, I can see the name of my server is SAP 2012. And I have a list of the databases here. The one that I'm after is called 00 Demo. Click on Excel, click on data from other sources, from, Excel, from SQL Server, and your server name. You can either use the SA if you know the password, or better yet would be to use a SQL Server login name, which has been written specifically for this purposes. We're now connected to the SQL Server. We can see um, our SAP database. Potentially, there will be a list of SAP databases here, so we can select the one from the list. If we scroll down through the list of um, views that we have here, we'll see eventually we'll get to the actual SAP Business One tables as well. So if we scroll down to the ORs or the O's, for example, we can see there's um, tables such as ODLN, um, ODSL, etc. We're just going to stick with the views. So we created a view called 001DEO. So there's our view. We finish, and we're going to return the data into Excel, not as a table, but as a pivot table report. Click OK. Excel is now going away to SAP Business One and retrieving the data from the um, SAP database. This will take several seconds. OK, so we can now see it's beginning to read data in. There's just under half a million records in uh, the last two years on this database. OK, so our pivot table has completed. We can now start pulling um, fields from within our view. So I'm going to select the account rep and drop that into the rows. As soon as I do that, we'll see that our result has um, listed all of the sales reps. We're also just going to bring out the line total. I'm going to drop that into the values. 
Um, if Excel thinks it should count this information, we can change that to a sum. And we can also just set the number format here. So now we have sales since the beginning um, 2015 to date by each rep. We want to see those sales subtotaled by year. We simply drag the year into the rows section. So now we have a subtotal for the sales by rep for each year. And if we wanted to add the month, we can just drop the month beneath that. If we want to compare one uh, year's uh, sales with another, we can drag the month into the columns section. And now we have sales by rep, by year, and by month. We can use the pivot functionality then to uh, isolate for a particular year if we wish to. So if we just said for 2016 only, it's just 2016 data. In that instance, we don't necessarily need to see the year any longer. So we'll take the year out of the rows section. And we know that we have a filter because there is an, a filter icon on the years here. My reps all work within regions. So if I drag my region into the rows section, I have a subtotal for each region. And I can choose to collapse the regions. So now we have a, an analysis of um, all of our regions for the year 2016. Rather than using the filters, the tra traditional filters in uh, pivot tables, we can insert some slicers. So let's just insert the account rep and the region, perhaps the year and the month as well. Let's just make some space for that. And we'll put the year up top. So now if I select a particular region, so we'll just pick the northern region, and we could expand on that. So we'll just go and expand the entire field. So now when we pick a different region, it's already expanded. So we'll just pick the southeast region or the western region or a region within another jurisdiction. We have our values. We could isolate that further by picking a particular rep or a number of reps, just holding the control key. We can add some graphs in there, which is going back to the analyze. Let's do a pivot chart. Go with pi. I'll turn off this filter so we're looking at all of the reps within a region. This is looking at the January sales in the chart. So we might just want to isolate for a particular month. So in this case, let's just go with December. We want to go with multiple. If we want to go with a different month, we just select it quite quickly or a different region for that matter. Okay, so that's pulling data from SAP into Excel using a view. Hope you found it to be of some use. Thanks.